first baseman, number 46, Paul Goldschmidt. Well, listen to this ovation. All the applause for Paul Goldschmidt. A standing ovation here at Chase Field in Phoenix. He acknowledges a crowd with a tip of the helmet. And he'll settle in here. One out walk, Goldschmidt. Nice round of applause for Paul Goldschmidt. I'm going to say with Goldie, you think these people, they'd cheer for a Goldie home run, wouldn't they? Of course they would. And Goldie hits one out to deep right. Let's find out about that ovation. What's it going to be? Take it in. Two-run bomb is 100th here at this ballpark. And everybody, Cardinal fans and Diamondback fans, are enjoying this moment for Paul Goldschmidt. This is driven toward the pool. Goldie back in town. That's his 100th career home run at Chase Field. So Paul Goldsmith comes home to Phoenix, hits a two-run homer, and the Cardinals now on top by a score of four to one. You mentioned Goldie and Gonzo atop every offensive list. This is one that Goldie leads Gonzo. Home runs right here at Chase Field all time. Two-hit game for Paul Goldsmith, including a two-run homer. Also scores three runs in his return to Arizona. I know the most important thing is getting a win, but for you on a personal level, they had the video tribute, a number of standing ovations. What was it like for you? Yeah, just very appreciative of the support, the fans here, and uh, them coming out, you know, even though I'm with a different team now. Uh, I think it was more about them than it was about me, and just, you know, very thankful for that. For a guy like you who gets so locked in on the game after game and the day-to-day -day in baseball, was that a tough balance for you? No, not really. I mean, I knew it was coming, so, uh, you know, just tried to enjoy it. And like I said, thankful, you know, Dimebacks spent time putting that video together. And, you know, the fans were out here early and cheering and, um, you know, definitely appreciative of that. And then, you know, once the game started, just was, was ready to go to bat. And you guys get the W. Six straight wins. The magic number is down to three. It's kind of like you guys can taste it. Yeah, just take it one day at a time. we got to come out tomorrow. I mean, D-backs are a good team. We saw that. They were battling back all night. Luckily, we were able to add on. and. You know, our pitchers held them and uh, try to find any way to get a win tomorrow. You guys are on quite a run. In your eyes, what's the most impressive thing about the way this team has gone about it? It's just been a total team effort. Win uh, you know, a low-scoring game, win some high-scoring games, come from behind, get a lead early, whatever it takes, and, and that's what it's going to take. We're going to have to find a way to win in a number of different ways and hopefully uh, do it a lot. Thanks for the time. Yeah, thank you.